It does seem that the war, the civil war, has been quite fruitless. It's not a civil war. It's a people defending themselves against a fascist government, which you are defending. It's not a civil war. Well, the conflict... It's not a conflict. It's a liberation movement fighting for justice. Well, whatever it might be best called... It's not whatever, because this is where the problems start. This is a people who is discriminated, is fighting for his rights. This is a story. Why won't your organization engage in peace talks with the Israelis? You don't mean exactly peace talks. You mean capitulation, surrendering. Why not just talk? Talk to whom? Talk to the Israeli leaders. That's kind of conversation between the sword and the neck, you mean? Well, if there were no swords and no guns in the room, you could still talk. No, I haven't been, I had never seen any talk between a colonialist case and a national liberation movement. But despite this, why not talk? Talk about what? Talk about the possibility of not fighting. Not fighting for what? Not fighting at all, no matter what for. Yeah, and people usually fight for something and they stop fighting for something. So you can't tell me even why should we speak about what? Well, stop fighting. Fight for what or, or talk about stop fighting why? Talk to stop fighting to stop the death and the misery, the destruction, the pain. The misery and the destruction and the pain and the death of whom? of Palestinians, of Israelis, of Arabs. Of the Palestinian people who are uprooted, thrown in the camps, living in starvation, killed for 20 years, and uh, forbidden to use even the name Palestinians. They're better that way than dead, though. Maybe to you, but to us, it's not. To us, to liberate our country, to have dignity, to have respect, to have our mere human rights, is something as essential as life itself.